So here we are back on Bus Simulator. Um, the first video I did, the volume was too low again in the mic, so I got rid of it. So anyway, we are um, on Kim Jong Un Transit. That's the name of our company. Now that we're friends with the North Koreans, and um, we have got. Let me just load this. We have got a few objectives to do we're on to i don't know how far into the game we are but we've got a number of objectives we need to do we've done a couple of them this third one um hopefully when this loads it doesn't take too long to load this game compared to the the first game uh once it's actually outstanding work loaded just up as i come we're, to expect we're okay the harbor is now all yours Many of the workers there are locals from all over town. I'm sure they'll be happy to hear that they'll soon be able to rely on public transport to get them to work we'll on time in the morning shuts up. and home safely in the evening. I could convince the municipality to offer you another bonus if you manage to connect the residential areas to the harbor. Oh, and you didn't hear it from me, but they're already talking about opening up Westfield and Mayerheim for public transport. Right, this uh, this route here that I've set up, Port Amber 2, um, if we look at this one, uh, yeah, it's this one here, use drivers to generate income on a route with maximum of 10 stops that connects the business park with a minimum of 4 stops to Port Amber uh, 4 stops. So if we get rid of that, uh, pop up this is the route here that we're going on the red one and that's going from the business park area here down to Port Amber that's the one we want to be doing to hopefully get that next objective so let's start that we'll choose our bus um, what one will I go for We'll go for the, uh, well, the bigger one. I don't, I don't know what the difference is, but we'll go for that one. And... Here we are in the garage. I'm going to open the door, although you don't need to open it now. It automatically opens. We're in the bus, and now we will get the uh, electrics on in the bus. Now that's either on or off. See if we can get these lights on. Never seems to do it first time. Right there we go. That's it. And we'll close the doors. Oh, we're away. We've got it right this time. Right, so we're going left out the garage. Started driving around me there. Right, move, come on. Alright, now I can't get moving. Now that's the thing I've noticed about this uh, game. Um, once you've got buses on your route, um, your bus drivers will flash at you when they pass you on the route. 
so you'll actually see your own buses with your own logos on them and your uh, own uh, advertising on them as well. That's my bus, Port Amber 2. Well, that's the name of the route that it's on. Get the speed limiter on. Coming up to the bus stop. Hopefully this will be a completed objective if I get it right. And of course it eventually will open up more of the map. Clever. Oh, thank God I managed to catch the bus. Wait, is this even the next bus? stop? North Spoke. Well, the graphics are way better with uh, using the Unreal Engine, no doubt about that. It is a bit choppy here and there, uh, a bit stuttery with some of the vehicles. Again, those are bugs that could be ironed out, but that's that's probably the most annoying thing is the flare, the flare off these uh, warning lights in the back of vehicles. If you look at that, that's a bit over exuberant to say the least. This is all the business district on the map. Next stop, North Spoke. Well, she only, I think she only come on at the last stop, have there. I need several tickets, please. Right, several tickets. Regular and two, three. And we want. Thanks. May I have a ticket, please? Yep, single, regular, one. Thank you. Double check. watch for the speed humps and also the potholes you will lose uh, you will lose money and fines for those sort of things for hitting them there's uh, one of our buses there I meant to have a look and see what the uh, destination was in that bus there I forgot to look heading to the beach tomorrow. I'm off work at four o'clock. That sounds One, like a two. nice idea. 
but I'll have to see if I still fit into my swimsuit. Thank you. Periodically, part of your uh, your job oh. is to oh, check oh, the oh, tickets oh. and also remove garbage like that, for example. Um, we've got what one, two, three, four, five. We've got five passengers in the bus, but at some point during your trip, you're always advised to go and check your passengers' tickets because you can then catch bear dodgers as well. You've got a bonus for catching them. I hit that bloody roadworks here, I caught the edge of it, or I caught that car, one of the two. And I'm using the Xbox 360 controller, I did test it with the uh, steering wheel. I haven't seen Stefan it drives no, I... very well with the steering wheel, but the Still controls sick? are far too clunky, it doesn't set up the wheel very nice in terms of the controls and uh, I couldn't be bothered actually taking the time to do it, that was another reason I stopped using it. So we're almost headed out of the business district to head over to the harbour area. This I think is our last stop in the business district, I think it is anyway, I might be wrong. Now we'll get stupid things like this, you'll get the passenger listening to his music, so what you need to do is you need to stop and go out and tell the bugger to shut up. Oh sorry, I'll turn it down. Right, Here we'll you go. check we'll check your ticket while we're at it then. Of course. Oh no. Uh, and he's just it. been fined hundred and twenty bucks for not finding it. Uh, for not paying a for a ticket. Sure. So we've Here got go. we've got one oh, fair no. dodger. Oh, we've got Lost. another one. There's two, two hundred and forty euros. As easy as that. Right, and the door's already shut. I had to bloody stop to shut him up or shut her up. Right, we're on our way again. <laughs> Just got a text. What is, what is Beethoven's favourite fruit? A banana. <laughs> oh yeah, the, the humour in this game is hilarious. That's what I call good service. Bye. May I have a ticket, please? You certainly will. Uh, you want a weekly? And regular and oops, wrong thing. Wait a minute, there we go. And that's what twelve change. Three, four, six, eight, ten. 12. Thank you. Quick look to make sure there's no date running up. One more stop. What was it again? Gruar, Gruvier, Grundair. Oh, oh right. It was Gruyere. Yeah, the dialogue uh, from the passengers is just as banal as in the first game, and um, it doesn't take. Oh my gosh, what is that sound? It doesn't take long else for it to that? start to annoy you.
That's something they need to, they need to look at fixing. If you go to third person and you go outside the bus, when you look in that direction, uh, back at the bus, and then you hit to go back in, you're actually still looking in that direction. It should be fixed so that you're looking forward when you jump into the, the bus. That's a bit untidy. I'm afraid I'm getting sick. Next stop, Stalker Square. Right. Wow, perfect parking. I need to purchase several tickets. You're coming to the party at the old sawmill, right? Yeah, sure thing. Thanks. Okay. Well, I thought those people all waited to get on. It's just the one that got on. Did some go on at the back of the bus? AI vehicles will always let you out from the bus stop now. Next stop, Oil Harbour, South. Right now we're heading out of the business district, heading to the Oil Harbour. And we've got quite a bit of uh, distance to get there because it's given us 12 minutes to arrive there. A speed bump. I never even seen a speed bump. I was too busy looking at the bloody GPS. You know, yesterday, Kitty caught a fish. What? Aren't cats afraid of water? Yeah, well, she hardly got wet. She was just lying there on top of the aquarium. Yeah, that was hilarious, that one. My sides are splitting, laughing at some of the humour. Did you catch the concert last night at the old sawmill? They brought the house down. You really need to see the view down at the harbour. I hope I'll be able to catch some sleep along the way. Well, this is us on the motorway. This is the first time I've been in the waterway in this map. So it looks as if we're going to have to do a U-turn off this end of the road here. You're coming to the party at the old sawmill, right? Sure thing! This old sawmill sounds like a good night out. I don't know why I put the indicator on there, I was trying to go into third person.
business heading down to the harbour district. After 5,000 episodes, Winter of Fashion is still going strong. Yeah, this is another thing they keep talking about, this, um, this soap opera that's on Winter of Passion. They all seem to love it. <laughs> so the old sawmill in Winter of Passion is uh, what the people love in this game. So as I say, the objective with this is to open up another district or two in the town. Oh, is that way too late at the old sawmill? If we get this uh, job done right, we'll soon find out more speed humps. I've seen them this time. Me there, that bloody truck. That's five grand away there on that one. That was a bit bullshitty. A tourist in your own town. Yesterday I bought some shampoo. Uh huh. You know, listen to that for conversation. Yesterday I bought some shampoo. Next stop, Oil Harbor, South. Thanks for being so punctual. Goodbye. I need a few tickets. Single, regular, one, two, three. Thirteen, forty, change, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Thanks. I quite gave her too much change. I didn't move it over to the one. I'm so generous. Right, we've got five minutes before we need to move from here. Now this um, control system in the middle here, this is a great idea. The only problem is it's so small. And that's another reason why I went back to the uh, Xbox 360 controller. The main reason is that it's so difficult to read the text. It's so small. I never thought Hans would come uh, back to the And it's even family. more impossible when you're sitting back in a chair further away from your computer or from your monitor. Uh, to try and read it then. This thing should be at least twice the size when you bring it on the screen. It should be a lot, lot bigger um, so that you can actually see what the text is talking about. But after you play the game for a while, you get to know what the what the symbols actually are. Anyway, I mean, you obviously know that's a wheelchair ramp. And uh, this here is the main control, so the bus where that one's highlighted, that's the lights, that's the doors. So, once you get familiar with it, it's okay, but um, to actually see that, it really needs to be at least twice the size overall, I think. So there's a few improvements that the game does need overall, um, but the game has vastly improved since the first version, I can guarantee you that. Right, anyway, we've got plenty of time, let's just move on. Did that chicken just cross the road? Once we go through the oil harbour district, 
Um, we've got the final part of the harbour area, uh, which is at the north side of the GPS as we look in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. So we need to go back out of this Are you going to the old place that we just came no, in. Sorry. I need to work on that. There's our bus there. Again, I never looked at the bloody uh, destination board in the front of it. So we've got seven buses in the fleet, and we've got seven drivers. It don't feel like working today. There's another one there. I don't know whether that was one of ours. Oh shit! I've missed a stop. Too busy looking at that bloody bus. She was just lying there on top of the aquarium. Hey, wait a minute. What the hell does she want? A date? Hey, that's where I went wrong. Back, back. That's it. Regular. One. Three to change. Two, three, fifty, seven. Us. We'll close the door and we will do a quick check on the bus. See if there's any shit lying around that we need to get rid of. Hold on. Here. Here you go. Where is it? Ah, here you go. Where is it? Well, the buses ah, look quite nice inside, go. especially this one with the shiny floor. Here you go. What? Oh, here you go. Here you go. You saw my ticket already. Yeah, I have. I want to see it again, though. Of course. Here you go. Right, there's no garbage on board, because that's what you've got to clear up as well. So let's head out. The other problem in the first game was the mirrors. The mirrors were awful. The actual side mirrors. Uh, they are much, Next much better stop, now. Harbor, Pier 3. I would like to think they would tweak it once or twice. Once they get the feedback. But they certainly need to, they need to um, fix this glare. This bloom off these uh, lights, that's, uh, that isn't right. Ah, oh, my stomach! So we're moving into Port Amber. I think that's what it's called. Now, what the hell have I hit there? It's a bigger bus if I go out and hit the bloody lamp post. I'm forgetting I'm driving the bigger bus. This is tight. So that's another fine off our ba overall balance that we get for this. But that's not important. What's important is that we um, that we open up this zone that they're promising us. If we get this, uh, get these stops all right. I've done 
done it again. Well, I don't know how we're going to get round these corners with a bendy bus because I'm I'm trying to get round these as wide as I can without hitting the other vehicles that are stationary, and I'm still getting caught out by these uh, curb stones, as they call them, curb stones. gentleman in his wheelchair. We'll sort him out in a minute. Very punctual. Thank you. I no. think I'll need several tickets, please. Well, we'll put the ramp down and see if that guy gets in the bus first of all. Hang on a minute. Is he getting in? Yes, he is getting in. Right, anyway, now we can deal with Grandad there. Uh, single... Senior and two he wants one forty change. One. Thank you. Well, we need to take care of the ramp before we shut the door. The ramp has gone. In last week's episode, they finally revealed that Hans has a twin sister, Christina. Next stop, Harbour. Pier 1. Last stop. So this guy that's got on in the wheelchair, we're going to have to put open the doors and then put the ramp down again to let him off. Because everybody else is going to be going off here. This is the end of the trip. And we'll see if we've opened up that zone. We've hit another pothole. Could you lower the ramp? I'd like to get off the bus. Last stop. Please leave the bus. Right, so Thanks doors for being are so open. Punctual. Ramp down. Goodbye. And we'll see him getting off the bus. There he goes. Now we can complete the job and we'll do that by that option there and we'll see our total so we got what 10,000 and we've got upload, uh, unlocked a new bus so we must have got that mission or that objective Complete. We're now into level 15. And let's have a look and see where that puts us. So we've done that objective. Um, and now the next one is use drivers to dem generate an income on a route with a maximum of 10 stops that connects the main station, which is in the town, which is over over here there's the main station there uh main station one stop the agricultural zone minimum of two stops the industry zone minimum of two stops and port amber minimum of two so um when we do all of these objectives here we get another hundred thousand euros and it unlocks a western area which um I'm assuming when it says western area, it means this area here, like Westfield, this district. Now, looking at the map, the map that we have, um, again, this game's supposed to be mod friendly, um, supposed to allow modders to make maps, etc., for it. But I'm looking to see, I mean, this map here that we have, the only district that's still to be opened up. I think is really this area here. Um, everything else, from what I can see, is uh, now available. 
So we've only got another few objectives to do to get to this stage here where we've got that area of the of the map opened up. So we'll do that another time, but until then we will bid you farewell and we will see you again sometime.